Hey guys, here playing Adam up against a Harmony MedTech deck. Should be interesting. Um, this hand's pretty decent. We're a pawn shop deck, we have a pawn shop, so that's an automatic keep. Trying out Parisha. I mean, it doesn't trash upgrades, which is really the reason it doesn't see more play. That and being one MU, so the MU is really not an issue for this deck. Because with our brain chip, we generally have a lot of MU lying around. Or we just have no programs, so we can't draw them. Not having any tutoring available. Excuse me. Green level sweeps harmony. Alright, or ice in front of the HQ. So he's probably on like three future perfect and three food. That's something that I would do if I was playing as Harney right now. That way there's not very many agendas and I take a lot of them to win. No idea if he's even playing asset economy. This could be a quick pawn. I think it's even worth poking. I think we're just gonna sell this off. And we'll try to get through. Okay. I don't think I will play the laundry yet. I think we'll wait to the run we actually want to make. Ring of Emotion mix up. Well, I'm going to buy that. Oh, it's plan B. Hilarious. <laughs> so if Lottie comes out. Interesting. So I think I'm on laundry money. I think we're going to throw out the first brain chip. I think we're not going to be able to use this yet. So he's not on three food, three future perfect. Something more exotic is happening. What could it be? 24 seven with Philotic? Maybe he just is gonna do motion mix ups, but not necessarily with a three pointer for smaller stakes. So we saw a Shigeru. Seems pretty good for him. Uh, let's lay out our Peddler. Ghost, Brain Chip, always be running. Okay. So we don't know yet which one we want out of those. I think I'm just gonna hang tight and do nothing this turn. And we'll draw another card so we can get our free draw still, but we can get as far in our stack as we can. So Ghost Runners are good. We're playing a Refractor for a Decoder. So lets us easily break Turing and Tollbooth that are quite popular right now. So he's really not doing too, too much over there. And if he's not doing much, we don't need to do much either. They will pool in his HQ over time. And every turn that goes by, we're getting our free draw. Which certainly benefits us. That's not bad. Yeah, let's play.
put another peddler. Let's see what's on this one. Such a great little one influence draw card. The fact that it's free is really big. Brain chip and drug dealer. I actually want that drug dealer. So the nice thing about drug dealer is we're gonna get our safety first draw and then it's gonna check and we're gonna get our drug good draw and then we can use Dr. Lovegood as like an honor world contacts saving the dollar that would have been lost to the drug dealer. It's a pretty good system. So we've got an OC running. We don't need the one that is on this. We can probably use this for the brain chip. Advance, huh? Well, I would buy that as well. Let's see if we get some brain damage going on. Medical breakthrough. Okay, maybe he's on like trick of light. In any event, this gives us a nice plus two hand size, plus two MU that I'm happy about. Actually, could have probably dirty laundry into that. Play the Mimic or the Multi-Threader? Maybe the Multi-Threader, we can play Mimic later. So we're getting quite the assortment of things down here. So this is really where Adam excels in longer games. And his ability is based, I consider like the main ability to be the safety first. Like a free card draw is a big deal. So we'll pawn this for an extra dollar. So he's gonna make us guess over and over again. A level of repression. So he's not going to trash that? That's weird. If he had trashed it, he would have denied the dirty laundry, which would be quite strong. I think that's just a misplay by him. Mimics for days. Sucker's good, actually. I'm feeling pretty good about the contents of HQ right now. Let's see if we can get in there. I mean, I assume a Shigeru is one of these ice. We can get him to commit nine to the res. I'll be okay with that. Psychic field's pretty annoying right now. The bigger our hand gets, the more cards we're gonna lose from that. Well, let's dive in and see what's on R&D. That's the expensive one. So it's gonna cost us two from this for the pump and then five for the subs. The, I don't wanna pay you like that. That's a lot of money. Let's go again, we have two clicks left, so we can go through an Ichi or something. I think about this one, did I go to zero?
So it's clearly a cortex lock because he was asking what my memory was. Uh, Shigeru again in there and plan B. I'll get rid of that. With Parisha. I mean, let's not get caught out getting too hasty. I'll just play this and go ahead and zero MU open. And hand size is seven. Yeah, we'll draw. We have one medium for multi-axis on the R&D, which is not a lot. Or I mean, we're aiming to get points from HQ, which can work if you're suppressing the remote. But against fast advance, it really falls flat because they can just keep their HQ clear by fast advancing everything out. So I guess this plan is to score three two-pointers, like two, two, two. That's okay. Um, I don't think I want to tackle that. I think we just keep poking at his HQ and trashing all his stuff. I actually probably should have pawned one of these things. Enigma, boo. Yeah, that resolves. Womp womp. Well, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll lay down. Should really upon something so you can replace it with another copy of the same thing. But this is okay, he's not playing sweeps, so that'll do. Ah, happy to see these cards. Eleven cards, one refractor. It's gonna show. So we could have a code gate behind that. Hmm. I'm gonna bite. Let's play as we running. Let's run this server. He feels like he would be getting desperate right now, or at least hungry to score something. Like, I don't want to. He spent two clicks here, and I, but I won't have to. She Q. Blah. Okay, two net damage or minus one agenda point. Uh, no, I'll take two net, put that in the trash. So let's get, yeah, let's get as close as we can to this refractor. here we can do always be running to get through this enigma losing a click spending our full turn to see two cards of the HQ that's actually not bad I kind of like and if we can score here we'll get more MU and more uh, more hand size Lotus Field, Trick of Light. All right, we know what he's on. 
Let's assume that our Aesops won't die. Our hand size is seven, right? No, never mind, it's nine. Whoops. Just showed him a carry for no reason. There's the medium. So now it's starting to get worth running on the R and D. Oh, he's gonna trick a light, of course, now. Makes sense. things I can do, but I definitely can't do anything about that. Trick of light, score, medical breakthrough, brain trust. Okay. Don't really care about that. Let's make an MU free. Center whole turn hitting HQ again. Ugh, doesn't seem that good. Well, let's turn this off. Do that instead. I think we don't have to run. I don't want to run right now. Let's put the multi threader down. Overwrite Parisha. I think it's time to just do some, like, just do that kind of thing. Yeah, we gotta do that. It's hoping to pawn the Parisha, but this is gonna have to be what we're doing. So, three strength, four strength. Put multi threader to good use. cards left. He must have, even with a smaller deck, he must have something coming up soon. Motion Notion. Boo. So I think the best install is actually this Harbinger. We'll be able to pawn it twice on the next two turns, which is cool. protect his R&D. I don't know if he has another code gate for it. If he has an ice, it will definitely laundry. First click. And then we can put down the... Okay, he's gonna ice it. You have to respect it being a code gate. I mean, we could still go first and click through. It probably only has one ETR. Yeah, I think I'm comfortable doing that. Let's get in there. I don't know why he had this double ETR code gate. Yeah, just a Lotus. Three strength, one, one, two, three, four. Whoa. Okay, so we're still good. I'm gonna get this at the end of the run. Two cards, brain trust, yes, hedge fund. 
Check out, get her five. Can't go again, obviously, but. Now we've got two more MU, which is juicy. I forgot to pawn this turn. Nothing's gonna matter, so what do we got left? There's that little refractor. What a champ. It's nice with the street peddler because you can have the card here so they don't know what you have. But then first click you make your run and it pops right out. Otherwise you're, you're stuck broadcasting what breakers you have, which is not much fun at all. So let's pawn the drug leader because our deck is empty. It's not going to do anything more for us. I can love good the always be running. Turn starts. And we've got two MU free. So let's throw down the third multi threader. Such efficient running. And we'll just go for it. Flip this for free. And then this is going to be a little expensive. But triple multi threader does the trick. And we get another brain trust for the win. So yeah, there you go. In the slower games, Adam can can come right along with the gradual drip from drug dealer safety first. Cards, cards, cards. Once you have cards, you can turn them into money. Kind of like this build. Pretty sure it was neat. We got some we got some value out of it. We got the pawn at the end. We'd like to pawn a little more. I think we could have pawned a bit smarter this game. We forgot to pawn this one turn. So there's a few things we could have done better. But overall, slow games are okay, fast games are not okay. Thanks for watching guys.